Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video and as you guys can tell, the vibe is a little bit different. I am doing a little bit more of a serious video than what I usually do, but I do think it's very, very important. So today's topic is a ranked in a blood strike. Now, a ranked in blood strike can be significantly improved in my opinion. I think the ranked system in blood strike is not good and I'm going to tell you guys why I think it's not good, but I'm also going to be proposing some solutions and some improvements that I think could be made. And the goal of this video is to really open up a conversation between you guys, myself, my viewers, the blood strike community but also the developers so i would like to invite all of you to leave your constructive feedback and comments in the comment section down below you never know if the developers are watching and picking up on some of these ideas so without further ado let's hop into the video and i hope you enjoy so it's really really easy to climb from bronze all the way to legend but have you ever thought that this might not be a good thing after you hit that legend rank what do you really grind for afterwards or are the rewards even worth it? Are the leaderboards worth the grind? Are the matches actually balanced? Let's tackle some of these points and let's see how we can improve them. First, let's talk about the ranks we have in Bloodstrike and how the point system works. We all know that when you start playing ranked, you start with bronze and you're pretty much in bot lobbies until you're around the gold slash platinum ranked. After that, you get put in real lobbies and that's where the grind really, really starts. But let's be honest, it's not very hard to grind because you pretty much don't lose points at all, even if you have a poor match with not a lot of kills and not a good placement. This allows for anyone to climb the ranks, even if their skill level is not good. This exact system actually allows very bad players to get into the legend lobbies, which is the highest rank possible. Having bad players on the highest rank possible is not a good thing because it makes teams unbalanced and it makes the solo queue experience insanely bad. I very often solo queue myself and I'll be lucky to have teammates that can really handle other players on their own. I'm talking about teammates that are low level, they don't know how to buy allies back, lose every single 1v1 they take on, they have no game sense whatsoever, and they always rotate late for zone. You can definitely see where I'm going with this. Ranked is an awful experience because the skill gap between legend players is really, really big. So what can be done about this? Well, the first thing is to make people lose more points when they perform poorly so that they actually de-rank. This on its own will really, really increase the quality of the lobbies, but some of you are gonna say, Lights, isn't that gonna make the lobbies extremely sweaty? Well, yes, but that's the whole point of playing ranked, right? Lobbies are not supposed to be easy and you're not supposed to get back to back to back wins in the highest rank possible. So why would people want to play sweaty rank games? Well, some people just enjoy sweaty lobbies and they like to improve their gameplay. But some of you, myself included, will also like to play ranked to get rewards. And let's be honest, the rewards in Bloodstrike could be a lot better for ranked. So let's have a look at what we currently have in ranked. All right, so we're going to have a look at the uh, rewards that you get for playing a Battle Royale rank. Let's have a look. So we actually get these points. And with these points, you can actually buy certain things in the rank shop, which we're going to have a look at in just a moment. But as you guys can see, we're going to go up all the way to silver. We still didn't get that much. We get a lot of points like this. We get uh, some XP cards, which is not that much. And then once we hit gold four, we actually get a timed scar skin. We get this like box. And in this box, we just get another timed skin, some more points and some reputation points which is not that much um and then we go up right we go up we have another reward when you hit platinum four you get another time skin you get a sticker you get an avatar and you get also some kind of like tier protector pass now move on we're gonna go to diamond we're gonna get a permanent legendary skin which is very very nice honestly i do think this is a very good reward and this is something that is probably gonna stay we also have another sticker another avatar and some more tier protection and then once you hit master you get this like timed dagger skin now this is something that I think could be improved. This dagger has been around for like months. Like ever since I started to play the game, this dagger was around and it was never changed. So I think this is definitely something that could be improved on. Then we also have the sticker and the other avatar. Again, these are some nice extra rewards, but I do think this could be replaced by some other things, which I'm going to touch in later on this video. And then once you hit legend, which is the highest rank possible, you get an avatar, you get stickers, you get this emote, um, which honestly they've improved because it used to look worse than this. So um, that is a W. So you do get this emote for reaching ranked, but uh, this is a timed emote and this will reset each season, which is okay. And then up next we have this like legend tier 
gift um, and this is a legendary camo that you can get and you can actually choose for which weapon you get this so this is actually a very very nice reward but again, I'm going to touch later on this video of what I think should be really, really done with this because I do think this should also go per tier. So overall, you do get a few things. You get a legendary camo permanently unlocked and then you also get a permanent legendary skin on Diamond 4. But besides that, you get a lot of accessories like stickers and avatars, but not much other than that. So let's have a look at the rank shop, what you can actually buy. So over here, we have the rank shop. And as you guys can see, with these points, you can actually purchase skins. So we have... A an epic vss over here and then we have some uh, rare skins for the vector the mp155 the rpg m700 vector again and then also a kala and then we also have this like ornament and of course some trial cards now these rewards have been around for a very very long time and not only do they cost a lot of points but they're not really worth it you know i mean if i look at this skin i would not want to spend 2500 points on this um so yeah definitely think there could be some improvements done here i don't know if we actually need a ranked shop reward i think actually rewarding people um just for playing the game for actually ranking up and giving them more in between tier rewards would be a lot more beneficial than just having this like dull ran rank shop but that is just me let me know what you guys think anyway we're gonna hop back to the rest of the video so what i would like to propose is better rewards between the ranked tiers while making it harder to climb i feel like the current rewards are outdated and we have a lot of things available to us in the game that we didn't have before here's a few examples we could have a special profile frame for your highest rank achieved we could also have a special title that you can equip on your profile about your rank and if you have top 1000 legend players you would have a specific number on that title. We can have special camos for reaching different rank tiers, kind of like the sapphire we have, but actually a little bit different for each rank. We can have a melee weapon that is unlocked and give you a specific color based on your rank. Also, I think I speak for most of us when I say we are tired of the timed rainbow skin. We could have a few other things like stickers, avatars, and ornaments, but that's not where it stops. I noticed Bloodstrike has slowly been putting in skins for throwables in the game, and I think the same could be done for ranked rewards maybe we can see dive trail soon some parachute skins who knows but whatever kind of skin they add in the game they should also give us a ranked version of it so we can earn something for free and have purpose to grind anyway what i'm trying to say is ranked is not worth playing right now if you play alone it's frustrating because of the skill gap and lack of rewards improve the skill gap give us better rewards and i honestly believe blood strike rank could reach some next level heights there is a lot of other talking points that i can talk about but i want to give the microphone to you guys my viewers and the blood strike community what changes would you like to see in the rank system what do you think is good what do you think is bad i would like to invite all of you to leave your thoughts and constructive feedback in the comments down below but please do so in a respectful way it is you guys' time to shine and it's you guys' time to be heard as always i want to thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys very very soon bye bye